So we can make it big enough. Before we plant this coconut, can you show me what you've been doing? Wow, what have you made? An island and a teepee. An island and a teepee? Check this out. This was not here the other day when I was filming. It's their mangoes. Oh, okay. They mangoes, yeah. So what, the, the brownie looking yeah, one? Yeah, the brownie ones, so yeah. Somebody yeah. else told us actually today that what we thought was a weed, yeah. this one, is actually the water spinach growing. This one is a water yeah. spinach, yeah. I haven't said good morning world yet. It is day 77 of the Shargao Island lockdown. Yesterday you saw us with our freedom traveling around and everything was good, everything was happy. And then today we woke up and found out that our freedom has been taken away once again. Honestly, it is getting a bit silly now. It's very confusing. Nobody really knows what's going on and everybody's making up their own individual rules. So Mila went over to the barangay captain this morning to find out what's going on. And apparently we don't need travel passes, but all over the news, they're saying that you do need travel passes. Somebody in a restaurant said they needed a working pass to get to work. Our friend Ave said that they got stopped at Dapa because they were riding on the back of a motorbike, but then they said it would have been okay if she was in the back of a car. It doesn't make any sense and it's all over the place at the moment. Luckily, Story is more than happy this morning to just make sandcastles outside the house. How are they going, Story? Nice. What shapes have you made? It's really difficult to do. Yeah? Yeah. You're doing a really good job. I can see your starfish, that looks very defined. And my shell. Yeah, your shell's good as well. You did it all by yourself? No, I, I need help to press down. Okay, I think you need a little bit more sand. Just a bit more, and then when you press it, it will go in. That's looking a lot better, yeah. Let's try that. Let's try. Yeah, not bad. Good, Is that it? Good it's building, yeah. It's wet. Yeah! Yay! Are you happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good job, well done. It hasn't got stripes. No. The sand needs to be a bit wetter to make the stripes appear. So all of our original plans have changed, haven't they? Today? Yeah. Yes. We were supposed to be going to Dapa to do some shopping, weren't we? Yeah, we were going to get up early and go out, have breakfast out, and it's almost lunchtime. <laughs> we're still here. <laughs> the first thing that Story said to me this morning was, can we go and see some sea creatures? And she wanted to go and have a look for the stuff that we do here, yeah. you know, like not the stuff that we do when we go out. And I was like, this is good. Yeah. It means that she doesn't need to be out all the time. No. She like running out of here. It needs to be away every day now. Yeah. And because our original plans didn't happen and we didn't get up and go today, I now feel like I don't really want to go out today. Yeah. I'm quite happy to stay here. I want to have a nice <laughs> coffee, which I've just made. Go for a walk of story. The tide's just come in so we can go and splash in the water. And yeah. she's got her new toy, her little sand toys. So I just want to have a nice chilled out day here, really. <laughs> and she's been playing independently with them a lot today, yeah. which is good. I love the fact that she can appreciate the, her toys, even the simple ones, you yeah. know, one by one. And that's that's one lovely thing that we've always said about stories. Yeah, there. have our coffee and then we'll go for a little wander and yeah. find those sea creatures. Mummy, this is going to be surprise one. Want to show me some sandcastles? Okay. It's made of sand. I can see a fish, a starfish. Show and me. A shell. Oh, and a shell. Oh. She's really proud of these. <laughs> Jay's just brought our little food tray down. I would say breakfast, but it's not breakfast time at all now. <laughs> I was just sitting here and I suddenly just had that feeling that I realised where I was again. Like everything came crashing back and I just thought I can't believe I'm here sitting here listening to the lapping of the waves and the little tinkling birds up in the trees it is so so peaceful but I don't know what triggered it I was just sipping my coffee and all of a sudden I was just like wow <laughs> I know what how it. did I get here <laughs> I can tell you what triggered it what it's silence Silence, yeah. Story's not here, singing in your ear, <laughs> yeah. screaming, making yeah. songs. That's and... true. I was allowed to just appreciate the moment just for a few minutes. I can hear her. She's getting ready to run down here. I can hear her getting her toys and stuff in the house. But yeah, having that little moment of silence, wow, it's just stunning. And it's nice to just have that moment of appreciation, isn't it? Yeah, you should always do that. Just stop, find a quiet place and look at things 
and appreciate the small details yeah. and it will all come flooding back to you. Here she comes, singing happy birthday. Whose birthday is it? <laughs> Papa's birthday? Oh. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, you made Papa a present? No, a cake. A wow. Cake, yeah. but, uh, Starfish oh, cake. that's lovely. Yeah, thank you, Baba. You're so sweet of you. Hi, Granddad. I hope you love to have a mum lovely day. Aww. Oh, that was a lovely story. What a beautiful shout out for Granddad. Mm. He's watching as well, Story. He watches the videos. Yeah. Mm, so he'll love that message from you. Yeah, but now, now, now the tide has gone out so we could swim. <laughs> yeah? All right, you better tell Granddad then. Granddad would like to swim with you here. Yeah. Granddad cut the that doesn't know how to swim. Granddad knows how to swim. But he does. He, I, I can't swim though because I'm too little. Yeah, you are. Maybe Granddad can help you when he comes here. Would that be nice? Granddad could be Granddad's boat. Granddad's boat, yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. ride on his back. He would yeah. like to do that. <laughs> but he's, he, he's too heavy to carry children. <laughs> I'm too heavy to carry. You're not carry. too heavy. Granddad yeah. will be able to carry you. He can lift you. <laughs> <laughs> He'll enjoy watching this. I I hope you you, you come back on the airplane and then you 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 you, you could play with me and mm. make sandcastles and swim with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Granddad will definitely want to do that. Okay. He, he'll go on the airplane. <laughs> You'll yeah. go on the airplane yet yeah, soon. Yeah. As soon as the aeroplanes are ready yeah. to come to the island, oh, so we'll come I've and see you. Oh, I've got a good idea. Yeah. yeah. The, we, we, we could pick, pick Granddad up. Pick him up in the tuk-tuk? <laughs> yeah. It's a long drive. Wow. Oh, so, no, we can pick him up from the airport though when he gets here, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. But it won't be for a few months yet because apparently the airport here is closed until September. Oh, so <laughs> we have to wait for a while. Okay? Yes, yeah, so, see so the people are going to the hospital. Yeah. yeah, some people need to go to the hospital. But luckily we're healthy, aren't we? Yeah. He's definitely sad about he because he, he can't go on the airport. <laughs> that was a little spontaneous shout-out. Story just said, I want to do a shout-out. I said, okay then, shall I find you one? She went, no, how about to Grandad? So, oh. there you go. <laughs> perfect, it was a perfect shout-out yeah. story. Look at the weather over there. You can actually see the rain coming down and touching the mountains. That's so cool. And then look how blue it is over here. Jay and Story have begun the sea creature search. Oh, it's so hot out here. As soon as you step into the sun. Wow. Hi. What did you find? I can inside. It's orange. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Come and feel this water. Yeah? It's so hot. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's never been this hot in my, the whole time we've been here. Like oh my bath, goodness. Isn't it? It's like it's just come out the kettle. <laughs> Did you find a fish? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What colour was it? Uh, brown. Brown fish. Was it a big one or a little one? A big one. <gasps> oh, did he swim away? Yeah, he got into seaweed. He got into some seaweed. Yeah. And what was on his back story? A fin. A fin? Yeah, a Oh, it wasn't a baby shark, was it? No. No? <laughs> it wasn't, but it had teeth. It had sharp teeth? Yeah. And a fin? Yeah. Sounds like a shark to me. It was a little crabby. I want to get shade. You give him some shade. Whoa. Okay. Mum is just reading an article that was written about us. This is the latest one that's come up and the reason why we're mentioning it is because it's more of an opinionated article rather than just sharing the original press release, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. There's seven other vloggers in the article and it's just about our experiences of being in lockdown in the Philippines mm. and all of our individual journeys and how we came to be here and that kind of thing. And it's really interesting to read it. Someone sent it to us last night on Instagram. What I like about these is that they take snippets of what we say and then they elaborate on that thing. Yeah. So they will take things that I don't even remember saying and that's the most important and poignant message from that particular person's opinion of our journey. When we get to read that back to ourselves, we, we hear our own voice echoed yeah. and it makes you think about like how welcome we've been made here in this time that we've been on lockdown. So this was the article here, it was on tripzilla.com 
Ever since 2012, we've been on this quest for finding a home, somewhere we can feel content, welcome and happy, all the feelings everyone wishes for. Watching an 8 Miles From Home episode is an absolute treat. If you're not captivated by the vlog's impressive cinematography, then three-year-old story will definitely keep you watching. This article is talking about your story. You're in the news. Look, there's a picture of you on the internet. What do you think? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since we touched down on this island, our lives have completely changed. This pandemic has basically stranded us here and we think that this is a huge signal from something or somewhere that we're meant to be thinking about this as a possible home in the future. And then it ends by the author saying, by the looks of it, this little family has truly found a home in the Philippines. There's a lot more in the article too, so we'll share it in the description below so you can read the whole thing. Yeah. It's a really nice article and thank you to the author for writing that about us. There's lots of other travellers included in there, so if you want to read their stories as well, it might be of interest to you. Yeah, yeah it's a nice article. <laughs> hey Story, do you remember we used to have a hammock in our house in Portugal? Yeah. When you were a little baby, yeah. you would never ever sleep on my chest. Why not? Because I, I, I am laying down. You just like to lay down? Yeah. But you never fall asleep on my chest. All the other dads used to say to me, oh, I love it when my kid sleeps on my chest. But you wouldn't do it. I was too scared to do that. You were too scared to do that? <laughs> You'll try that again. You're a funny girl. I will tumble over. We're going to do a mid-video shout out today because we've got quite a few to get through. Yeah, we are going to wish Cecile a happy 50th birthday to you. Hello and happy birthday. Happy birthday. You're watching from Toronto but you're actually originally from the Philippines and you now want to come here to Shargao Island after watching our vlogs. It's ah, another one. Yeah, we've promoted the island. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you're having a lovely day, Cecile. Papa's actually going for a sleepover tonight, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you looking forward to it? Yeah, we're going to have an evening meal first with yeah. a small group of us, uh, which I haven't met them yet. It'll be the first time tonight. And then uh, Kathy said, can I, I can stay over in one of their villas. Oh, that's going to be nice. Yeah, and then tomorrow morning I'll meet another friend I haven't seen before. I've just seen them on Zoom, but I'll meet her tomorrow as well. Uh, then I don't know what happens after that. Well, I guess we'll come pick you up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I'll let you know what's yeah. happening. Well, I thought it'd be a good idea if we come into town yeah. and then we can just pick you up from town and we could have uh, lunch together and then we can make our way home from there. Okay, because, yeah? Yeah, because we haven't done any shopping yet, have we? Yeah, we could do the shopping too, so we can, <laughs> yeah. we can double up on it. Come, yeah, all right. Then, yeah. So you'll have to pack like an overnight bag. Yeah, I know. I haven't thought about that, you know, so I'd better do that as well. <laughs> well it'd be nice to try out a new area as well. Yeah, I'll try out one of her villas then. Yeah, see what the villas are like. What so you feels let like. us know what it feels like there. Yeah, I will let you know then, yeah. So I'll be taking mum down to the bridge later tonight just in case there's any travel restriction issues <laughs> and they're going to pick her up from the other side and yeah. she'll be enjoying her evening away. Oh, it's nice for her. Yeah, it is. And we're going to do another shout out. Yeah. Little midday one. Yeah, we're going to wish Zuri a happy first birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And you are in New York, and this is from your grandmom, Liza. And also a big hello to Yogi, Yanni and Faith. And that is from your dad, Michael, who's living in Dubai. But you guys are in Laguna, Philippines. Uh, <laughs> Hello, shout everyone. Out. <laughs> oh, right, we've all bundled in the tuk-tuk to drop Irma off at the bridge for her little sleepover tonight. <laughs> and as the day's gone on, we've found out more information about the quarantine and the passes and stuff. And our barangay captain here in the village has said that we don't need them. You should officially not need a travel pass to get around the island but if you want to go to another city as in another island then you need to get special permission you need to have a test done and you need to get a travel pass to do that so we can't really go off of the island very easily but into island stuff should be fine from now on so we've read about three or four different things today about it all and it's been a bit frustrating not really knowing the absolute truth from the from the start of the day and from seeing some things online it seems like different checkpoints are stating different things oh, so there's a little bit of confusion and um, around the island and hopefully it will level out in a couple of days by the end of the week all ready for your night away papa <laughs> 
Come on, sleep over. Sleep over. Sleep over. <laughs> Stormy's actually been having a sleepover with mummy and daddy, haven't you, the last couple of nights? Ooh. Stormy's been enjoying sleeping in our bed. <laughs> and she's actually been sleeping a lot better. She didn't wake up until nine o'clock this morning, which was good. Brownie needs to do vlog. Brownie wants to vlog? Yeah. Okay. Hello, my name is Brownie. I am Story's favorite toy. Yeah, he's my favorite because I get to Oh. What? <laughs> All right, we're here. This is it. <laughs> the drop-off point. <laughs> Off they go. While we wait for Daddy to come back, I'm going to do a shout out to Jordan Perel from Vancouver. Now Jordan's family don't believe him that he watches the vlogs every day. <laughs> and we're also saying a hello and a happy birthday to Jordan's auntie Virgie Perel. So hello and happy birthday everybody. Stephen and Tess. Happy anniversary. <laughs> I hope you have a long time. That was Stephen and Tess from Ottawa in Canada who celebrated their 18th wedding anniversary Mom. yesterday. So happy anniversary guys. Roselle and John. So that was Roselle and John from Southampton UK. Roselle is actually from the Philippines but she's now been living in the UK for 18 years. That's a long time. And they both want to shout out to all the NHS workers. So hello everybody and hello to Rizal and John too. I'm going to do one more shout out. We're still waiting for Daddy to come back. <laughs> this shout out is going to Daddy's Rainy Carino from Manila. And it is for his wife Heidi and son Justin who both celebrated their birthdays last week. So hello guys and happy birthday to the both of you. Who's that? Daddy! Woo! Daddy's back! Daddy's be back. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All okay? Yeah, all good. Daddy. Did the hand over. <laughs> yeah. I wanna go back to my cat Lily. I wanna go back to them. They're not there anymore. I know. That's what I've been telling her. I, 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 I want to, 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 to walk there. They've gone all the way back to Manila. So I'll help you with the last shout out now that I'm back. <laughs> and that is from Ria Ong. And she wants to do a shout out to her mum who's been stuck in quarantine. Apparently her mum doesn't stop talking about us. Really? So that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and it is mummy Bella Columbras and daddy Eddie Columbras oh. from Leicester, Aya and Arix, Pasig City. Oh, hello everybody. Hi. <laughs> and that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a nice day. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It is a bit frustrating having to kind of work through all these confusions, but we'll work it out as the days go on. Look, mummy. Don't leave me here. I won't leave you. I'll never leave you here, Story. Should we go home and have some popcorn? Yeah! Yeah, I thought you'd like that. Ooh, popcorn night. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Bye. Ready, children? Yes. Then let's go. Hold on to me. Yeah, yeah. Just walking.